All right, Saturday morning, it's like 25 degrees out there, but here in my shop, it is huh, almost 60. So I can, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. All right, I got a bunch to do today. I need Mama done painted the, I gotta put this together probably. Mama painted the dry shaft like a barber's pole. So we can put that in. Uh, I need to install the gas tank. I think I've decided what I'm gonna do fuel tank and fuel line wise. Got some fittings. I gotta cut a trap door in the trunk. Make that work before I install all that. Yeah, just endless amounts of stuff to do. Bought these things for the valve covers. Mount the coils, but the truck coils don't fit that. Uh, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to modify that bracket so it'll take the truck coils and do that. Because them Holly Smart coils are... Everything's freaking a lot of money. So... I think I'm just going to run the truck coils. And if my ship ever comes in, I can put the fancy expensive coils on it. And then we got a little issue right there. Ain't enough clearance clearance between the booster. So it's another good reason to use the truck coils. But we got the belt on. I'm waiting on the tensioner for the AC. There's lots to do. Wiring to do. I gotta pull the steering column out. Have mama paint that. Uh, gotta pull the instrument cluster out. Switch it over to the these fancy gauges here. I need to paint the dash. Just all kind of stuff. So I'm gonna shut up now and get busy. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, I could uncut a hole in the trunk. Ain't that something I spent all the time welding up holes, now I cut one. Alright, I'm going to file the edges so I don't cut my little thinners. Hey, look, I got the tank up in there. I ain't tightened everything up yet, though. I'm going to let the car down and make sure my hole is where it's supposed to be. Well, much to my dismay, I must have miscalculated something. I need the hole a little bit more that way. It could have been, oh well, I'm just going to pull drop tape back out, it ain't that big of a deal, and cut that out. Good thing I didn't make my door for it yet. I swear, everything on this car is a battle. Oh, between what I screw up and what is screwed up, alright, that's going to work now. We'll be able to replace the fuel pump without dropping the tank. We can make a little plate fit over that. Screw in, that's what we need to do. Uh, the last difficulty I had was I was gonna reuse the old bolts, which I did two or three times, and then stripped out, so I had to replace them. All right, I'm gonna stop on that for the moment, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the steering column out so that I can get the instrument panel out. If Mrs. Heavy Chevy happens to show up, she can paint the steering column. And uh, I need to put the gauges in the instrument cluster is what I need to do. I got one working on a steering column and one putting a dirt bike together. I'm trying to get out of the way. And I'm going to... I got the fuel tank in. I need to f run the fuel lines, but... Trouble is, I don't feel like it just now. So, but what I do feel like doing is putting the gauges and all together in this thing. So I think that's what I'm I'm gonna do. I guess the first thing to do is just take it apart. I was gonna use this one and paint it, but I'm just gonna use a nice one. That's what I'm gonna do. And this one's a lot nicer. 
All right, I got it all apart. That didn't take long, but I suppose we ought to paint it. So I'm gonna find my little scotch bright pad and scuff it up and hand it to the painting lady. She's over there vigorously shaking the paint. Gentle, gentle. All right, I guess while she's doing that, I'm gonna go in here and dig some old wiring out of the dash. See what I need to keep. Oh, right in my eyeballs. The light. And I need to see where to stick the Holly Terminator wire and harness through and where to mount that little thing. I got some figuring to do. It's kind of neat, ain't it, Mama? She's 25 and still wants to ride a dirt bike. Yeah. And put it all together herself. I just had to tune it a little bit. All right, now I got to salvage out of this harness what I might need. And I think all I need is these little bulbs that can go in the back of the instrument cluster because I want to keep the original turn indicators if I can. Pretty sure it's on there too, but heck, we'll hook them both up. How about that? All right. I think the rest of that I can throw away. The trouble with this thing is there's a lot of considering that must go on. Where is everything going to fit up under the dash? You know, you got the little. ECM for the Holly Terminator deal. You got this little dual Holly for the gauges. Dakota digital gauges. Even though they're not really digital. Um, the heater. The AC. Ain't nothing to do but get after it. Also, I ought to buy a new ignition switch for it because the one that's in it, you don't need a key. Seems like that's a bad idea for as much money as I got in this darn car. This rust bucket. So, I guess I ought to do that. <laughs> hey, if y'all would hit the like button, I'd sure appreciate it. And subscribe. And if you are subscribing, watch. You know, all those things helps out a bunch. Uh, Mrs. Heavy Chevy don't like to stand and watch paint dry, so she went went off and done something. I don't know what. But that's okay. That's okay. When she comes back, I'll harass her or something. I think I'm going to rig some kind of alternate security device in this car so it won't be too easy to drive off with. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Shouldn't be. Here's another revolting development. Not you. <sighs> I ain't got I need to make a two inch hole in the firewall and I ain't got nothing to do with it. All this stuff, nothing to make a two inch hole. Good grief. I'm having one of them days where I ain't getting much done because every time I turn, I'm stymied in one way or another. I need to run the wiring harness for the holly inside, but I need a two inch hole saw or something. I ain't got one. I want to put the gauges together. Got to wait for the paint to dry. I guess what I could do is run my fuel lines for the gas tank. I guess I'm, I'm a fitting to do that. All right, so I'm up under here. I had my fuel filter right there. Then I get to look in after I made all the lines and say, I don't really like it that much. I think I need to move the filter a little more up there. It makes more sense to me. Which means I gotta drill a new hole. So I'm fitting to do that now. And Mrs. Heavy Chevy has agreed to do some cameraman work. <laughs> a camera person is probably more politically correct, wouldn't you imagine? 
I'm not politically correct, so cameraman is just fine with me. Okay. <laughs> Hand me the camera. Oh. Let's get on with it. All right, what we got to do here is put a drill bit in our drill. Put that in your pocket. Put this up here and see where we want to drill a hole at. That seems like a likely place, don't it? I reckon. Shaft installed. Now, put this in there. Like that. Better put a warning in this video. Alright, I like that better. Alright, now let me get my line situated. to get this figured out. Yes, I am about. I'm about to get it figured out. We just gotta figure out how this line. Problem is, it's a little bit problematic. <laughs> is that the problem? That's just how we're going to have to do it. There. My concern is right there, see what it wants to do? It wants to rub. So I guess what I can do is cut a piece of something and stick in between there. Which is what I guess I'm going to have to do. So it won't rub. Friction can cause... difficulties. Why are you trying to stick that camera in my nose? I'm not. See, your nose is over there. I'm over here. trial and tribulation I think I like it finally it's better than it was to start with 
That's for sure. All right. Don't let me forget to tighten up these fittings. Like that. There, how do you like that? What are you nodding at me for? You he like said it? it too soon. Oh. <clears throat> well, I took it off like three times. Right, you gotta get everything met. It's a bit of a challenge. All right, let's put the exhaust back on that side. Okay. Can't see you. <laughs> Don't we smile? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a smile. That was more of a evil chuckle. All right. All right. Now I gotta build a fuel line for between there and there. So let me do that. Boy, somebody's shooting up a lot of ammunition, ain't they? Sounds like it. What seems to be the problem? Huh? What seems to be the problem? Uh, this hose is going to be too short. But I can deal with that. just have to do it. Zapping myself. Zapping yourself. Oops. Yeah, that static electricity. You're just electric. We gotta do a little tweaking right there. Yes, we do. Okay, turn the camera. Yeah, we have a little, a little uh, flaw in the slaw right here. We just gotta move that bracket over. Just a scotch, that's all. It's fine. We didn't need to film it. It was boring. <laughs> All right. From that end to the engine. And then the fuel system will be finished. Except for wiring it up and putting gas in it. And putting the plug in the bottom of the tank. And making a trap door in the trunk. All right. The fuel system is complete. Other than tightening it up and maybe adding a few brackets here and there we got we're all hitched up from front to back I didn't get as much done as I thought I was gonna today oh I installed the idler for the AC that came in today we put in the uh, yeah, I'm getting sleepy the um, barber's pole drive shaft I think I saw her taking lengthy videos of that. And. They weren't lengthy. And, uh. I don't know what else to say, so I'm gonna shut up. So if you'd ring the bell, you know where that's at. Yes. And go to mrheavychevy.com where you can buy a sweatshirt or a pair of shorts or a pen or a sticker and uh, those things would go a small way towards paying for some of this stuff and uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and tell all your friends and and uh, I don't think we told anybody but we're going on power tour this year yeah. 
And we might meet up with that long-haired dude from Canada. You just never know. All right, see you.